my name is Amina and I paint masks. Uh, so these masks specifically come from a performance here in New York that's called Sleep No More and you have to wear a mask when you go in and you can keep it when you leave. And uh, the first time I went I was so blown away by what I saw there, it was just incredible. So as soon as I left and I had this mask in my hands, um, immediately certain scenes from the show kind of popped to resurface in my mind that they have to be on the mask. I don't know exactly why I connected the two, but I wanted to paint those scenes on that mask. And that was the first one, and I didn't intend to continue, but then I went another time to see the same show, and I was inspired to do another mask, again based on that. Now, this one was abstract, but it was still inspired by it. But then I got the taste for it, and so now I, a lot of them aren't even connected to the show at all, so I just do random things. And uh, it could be a person or a movie that inspires me or just, you know, an image that pops into my mind and I use them as canvas. These are two scenes, that's me in one of them and this one, the actors. And uh, these are cards, which is a recurring motif. And these are masks, because people all wear masks, so these are basically audience members. The inside is also two other scenes. So once again, you see all the masks, because people are watching this scene. And this is another one. So uh, that's four, four of the really cool scenes that I thought about. So after I painted this mask, I put it on Tumblr because on Tumblr there is this community of fans of the show. I did another mask, like I said, it was a bit more abstract, but I posted that there as well. And then about a month after that, I get a message on Tumblr from one of the fans. I knew that he was a fan from his blog and he said that he had been talking with the artistic director of Punchdrunk, which is the theater company that put this show together created it. So the artistic director's name is Felix Barrett and that's around there I got the message from this man and he said that he met Felix uh, at the show and they got into talking and they talked about fan art and then Felix mentioned my masks and uh, I was like when I read it, I was like what? And then he passed his email along to me and he said that yeah he really liked the mask that he saw and he wanted to commission one. So I was like yeah for sure. And it was just really cool that the person whose work inspired it was then again inspired by my work. And uh, there is the Hobbit mask. The Hobbit mask, it took me the longest to paint because I started it immediately upon seeing the first Hobbit movie. That was in December 2012. So, And then the second Hobbit came out, I saw it again and it reignited that inspiration. So I went back and painted it. But then uh, I had I went and saw Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart on Broadway there in two plays, No Man's Land and Waiting for Godot, and suddenly it made sense to me that I should probably give the mask to Ian McKellen. It sounds really stupid, but he's in The Hobbit, he's on the mask, he's in New York right now, I have the chance to approach him, so why not? And that propelled me to finish the mask and then I gave it to him. I don't know what he thought of it because I wrapped it and then I put it in the bag, um, but I hope he liked it. I mean, that would be nice. This is inspired by a concert I went to at Carnegie Hall. All right, I call this the Winter Hunt. Uh, I think I overdid it with the blood. <laughs> it was inspired by just one track. You can see this clock here. It has nothing to do with the song, it has nothing to do with anything except a poem by Robert Frost. And it's called um, Acqu I'm Acquainted with the Night. I really like the song Seven Devils by Florence and the Machine. There are like two girls here, but it's sort of like one person meant to be torn apart by these seven devils. It's really not my style. This was made to fit a man. I just wanted to use these colors. This is pretty obvious what it is. A lot of fun. That character for me is the epitome of what an actor can do. We don't even recognize the actor anymore. And uh, that's, that's the story of this mask. Uh, whenever somebody asks me to have a mask, if it's a commission or uh, if it's a present for someone, I give it to a person. And that's what I really love when 
somebody has one of my masks.